Hey y'all, we just wanted to give you a shout out real quick. Uh, just wanted to talk about some things that happened yesterday. Apparently yesterday um, at one of the schools, a uh, teacher locked themselves in a closet or something like that with a, with a weapon and uh, fired some shots inside the school. Uh, they had thought that the teacher uh, was trying to commit suicide or something like that. And, uh, you know, the stories get a little bit uh, tossed around and uh, they change a little bit because the first initial story that I got was that the teacher actually committed suicide, uh, kicked all the students out of the class or something like that and uh, committed suicide. That's not what happened uh, from what I understand now. But again, I, you know, uh, who knows what the real story was. But the point is, I want you kids to remember, man, it's not you and it doesn't have to be you. Uh, people deal with issues all the time and people deal with issues in different ways sometimes. And I don't know what was on this person's mind, um, but my thing is no, no child should have to go through that. No kid should have to go to school and have to deal with that, right? But I mean, sometimes it happens. So I guess we have to talk about how we're gonna deal with that. If something like that happens, you know, obviously we have to deal with it. I want you kids to know that you are strong. You are resilient. You can bounce back from things like that. Um, it's not something that you have to let affect your life. As a matter of fact, you cannot let it affect your life. You cannot let it stop you from moving forward in whatever things that you got going on and whatever things that you got plan for yourself the things that you desire for yourself and the things that you plan for yourself those are your plans and nobody can affect those plans and you can't let nobody affect those plans you can't let nobody change your goals or you can't let anybody disrupt your path um you know these things happen man and i know you know sometimes it's in our heart to feel it's in our heart because i mean Whatever was on that person's mind, whatever was on that teacher's mind is tragic for them to go through something like that and to go and do something like that. So it's completely understandable for you and other kids to really feel disturbed about it. But what I'm trying to say is don't let it affect you. Don't let it change you. Don't let it knock you off track. Uh, you know, feel what you're gonna feel and move and move on. I, I, I mean, I really need you guys to understand that. Do not let any circumstances in your life knock you off track. I mean, you got to stand strong, keep your head up, and move forward. When things like that happen, you know, yeah, we know we have to deal with it in a certain way, whether it's with sympathy or or or, or just a kind heart to somebody else that it's affecting. But we have to stand strong. We have to keep our head up and we have to move forward. We cannot let things that go on around us disrupt our goals and our plans and our life. Um, you know, no matter, you know, no matter how that sounds, I mean, you have to do for you. You have to move forward for you. Um, we witnessed a very sad thing last night. Uh, me and my wife went out to dinner last night and uh, while we were literally having dinner uh, I think it was two tables away a gentleman had a heart attack a gentleman had a heart attack and I believe the gentleman passed away I believe the gentleman passed away right there on the restaurant floor um, by the time somebody got there to help um they were saying that, you know, there, there was like no pulse. Uh, they were doing CPR for quite some time before an ambulance arrived. Uh, paramedics arrived and they started CPR. There was actually a nurse in the restaurant that started CPR. And it was tragic because I think that at some point it became a show. It was like... 
we're not going to pronounce this guy dead in front of all these people. We're not going to pronounce this guy dead in the middle of a restaurant. Let's get this ambulance here. Let's get, get this guy in the ambulance and, um, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it at that point. And I say that because when the ambulance got there, they were in no hurry to get this guy in the ambulance. Um, they had already used the paddles and things like that. So once they did get him in the ambulance, the ambulance didn't take off. You know, the ambulance wasn't in a hurry uh, to get this guy to a hospital or anything like that. So, I mean, I feel like it was tragic, man, because that guy's family was there at the restaurant and that guy's family had hope. Um, they were trusting in the paramedics and all that and they had hope and you could see it. They were talking like they had hope and I overheard that the guy was at the heart doctor earlier that day doing some tests and um, apparently he had a few stints put in previously so he had heart conditions and I couldn't help but to wonder then why the heck are you in this restaurant I mean there's really not a whole lot on the menu that is you know really healthy it, you know that's what I was thinking so it, it was sad because you know, them people's lives are going to be disrupted for a little bit, man. And, and, and my only hope is that they're able to move on, that they are able to be strong and move on. Because like I said, things happen in life and they affect us and we have to deal with them. We cannot avoid those things. But I think it's another situation where how are we going to deal with those things? And that's kind of why I mentioned this about the school today. It's not the thing that happens it's how are you going to deal with it please guys keep your head up and move forward don't let things that happen in life stop you from achieving your goals and that's all i wanted to say man because i mean my heart is with y'all man y'all having to deal with stuff like that and um it, it it's understandable man to grieve man but do not let grief slow you down do not let grief or anything else slow you down from reaching the goals you got to reach. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.